right, guys, we're back. And the amp of the week is similar to something that I've done before. I'll be honest with you guys. I just wanted to get back and do another Class D monoblock. That's probably my favorite amps to test. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I enjoy testing all amps. Two channels, four channels, Class D, Class AB. I like them all. Um, but I just wanted to do a Class D monoblock. And I picked up something at a little bit of a bargain. Look at there. Scar. So we've done the Scar 1200. This is the Scar 800. Um, get this box out of the way. And I did get this directly from Scar. You can see there. Um, Let's see, guys. Um, here's the deal with this. As I'm scrolling around on, I picked this one actually up on eBay. Most of my amps come from Amazon, but occasionally I'll grab something off of eBay or, or, uh, just wherever. But I noticed on there that you could get this amp new for about 131 and some change, refurbed for 101 and some change, or used for like 95 bucks. I think it was 94.99. And I chose to go with the used because I thought, well, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. If I end up with something that looks nice, maybe I can recoup most of my money back. Probably still lose a little bit, but I, maybe I can recoup most of my money back when I put it on Marketplace. And I think I got a little lucky here. Now, I have not hooked it up, turned it on, or anything. But when I say I think I got a little lucky, this thing looks brand new. I will tell you this. I know it's used. Even the back, I mean, it looks... Because it has been mounted. Um, you can see where there was a screw or a washer there. This one is actually bent just a little bit. Um, same with that one. Maybe all four of them. No, actually, the two on this end looked like there was never any screws in there. So they may have just had some sort of a, uh, a plate or something. And they only attach that one end. But the rest of this thing, um, you know, could pass for for brand new. Of course, when I sell it on Marketplace, I'm going to say that it's used and all of that. Um, it did not come with any paperwork, but it did come with, it, look, it appeared that they threw a brand new uh, cable in there. This doesn't look like it's been unwrapped. Same with the base knob appears to be a brand new base knob let's see their base knob is just uh so it is metal um nice and smooth does not have the clicks but no lights i'll be honest with you guys that's, i'm all right with that i do like the new base knobs that have all the 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 clip the clip light is what i really like on a base knob and the voltage uh voltmeter is kind of nice too but uh we've had a couple of base knobs uh me and my boys that are just too bright and at nighttime it's kind of a pain in the butt so i don't know it i don't mind a base knob sometimes that don't have a light uh i wouldn't mind a, a clip light though but enough about that so i did go online and just uh look up the uh the ratings on my phone and just took some screenshots with my phone and printed them off uh this is it. Here's some ratings right here. Um, four ohm, two ohm, one ohm. So we've got RMS at one ohm, 800 by one at 14.4. Peak at one ohm, 1200 by one at 14.4. RMS at two ohms, 600. RMS at four ohms, 370. And I like that they tell you 14.4. And they tell you, um, so what, you know, this RMS here technically could be certified or uncertified. Both of those are RMS tests. Um, but we'll see. This is cool too. The rest of this page online, this just kept going down further. So I, I printed off some more of it. Uh, what was it? Efficiency at four ohms, 0.9. I guess they're saying 90%, um, there, 
uh, power and ground, four gauge, uh, signal to noise, uh, right here. This, this is the main reason why I wanted to print off the second page. Real world amplifier dyno test results. Dynamic, <clears throat> which is peak, 1226 at 14.26, and certified RMS at one ohm. They're saying it did 906. Uh, actually, yeah, so certified here. We'll see. So they're saying it does just a smidge over what it's rated, but that it's going to have some pretty good headroom dynamically. So that's going to be pretty cool to test that out. We'll, we'll do our tests and we will compare our numbers with these numbers and these numbers. That's going to be kind of fun to check that out. All right, guys, enough rambling. Let's hook this thing up to the dyno and see how she does. All right, I completely forgot to show you guys what we've got going on here. Um, so there's those four gauge power and grounds. Got a small remote um, and what appears to be about a 10 or 12 gauge on the speaker. So you do get the two negatives, two positives. That's always nice. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't mind the scar stuff. I kind of like the way the scar stuff looks and I've never had any trouble with it. Um, I know they get a bad rap from some people. I don't understand that. Uh, had good luck with our speakers, and uh, this will be our second amplifier. Um, power and protect, got the remote um, input, uh, low-level inputs, base EQ, so you've got a 0, a 6, and a 12 dB. Got the metal uh, potentiometers here, that's nice. Um, gain, low pass, and subsonic, so pretty simple, but, you know, just what you need. I don't know, guys. I always like the fit and finish of the SCAR stuff. May take the back plate off of this one. Boy, do I get some grief when I do a video and I don't take off the back plate. Um, my goodness. So we we may do that today too. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But let's hook this thing up. All right, guys. Here goes the first turn on. I just got the power ground and remote hooked up. Haven't turned it on yet. I want to capture this on camera just in case something goes wrong or it don't turn on. Um, I'd like to have the video rolling when that happens. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yep. Everything looked normal there. I'll say this too. All of these are the same size, two and a half millimeter, um, for every one of them. I like when those are all the same size. All right, let's finish hooking it up. All right, guys, we are wired up. This is going to be the four ohm test. Um, online, it says that this run right here is rated, 370. This is going to be a 40 hertz test tone. All of our runs are going to be 40 hertz test tone. This is a class D monoblock made for subwoofers only. So we will be doing 40 hertz test tones. All right, let's start the track. 370. Oh, wow. 410, how about that? Yeah, um, that's awesome. Let's do a 40 hertz pulse. Oh, by the way, so the voltage never dropped below 14.7. I've got it set right now uh, to flash at anything below 14.6. Flash and hold at anything below 14.7. If I, if, I, if I said that wrong a second ago. Because, did y'all see a second ago, that was kind of teetering between 14.7, 14.8. Sometimes if it teeters like that and I've got it set to hold anything below 14.8, then it'll go ahead and start flashing every time it shows 14.7 for a split second. So I've backed that off a tenth of a volt. So the voltage stayed at either 14.8 or most likely it was 14.7. I didn't see it. The um, current draw was 47.7. Let's, let's reset these and let's do a 40 hertz pulse and see what it'll do dynamically. All right, little bit of extra room dynamically, but not much 417. Okay, 
All right, guys, let's wire it up to two ohms and see what she does at two ohms. All right, guys, here we go. Two ohm run. This one is rated 600 watts. First, we're going to do the 40 hertz um, sweep. All right. Will it do the 600? Oh yeah, wow. Yep, wow, 695. Right there at the end, the voltage dropped to 14.6. The current draw was 84.2. All right, yeah, it's doing uh, overrated. Let's zero this out. Let's do that 40 Hertz um, dynamic. All right, let's back this up one track and see what it'll do at two ohms dynamic. Nice, got a little bit of, little bit of headroom there, 760. Keep in mind guys, that was rated 600 for this run. I'm enjoying this little amp right now and the, and the output. Um, all right, one ohm. That's what everybody really wants to see, right? Let's see what it does at one ohm. All right, guys, this is the one-ohm test rated, uh, what was it, 800 watts, but it says that in the real world, if y'all remember, it did 906 certified uh, and 1226 dynamic. That's some really good numbers out of an 800-watt amp. So let's do that, uh, let's do that 40 hertz sweep first. Can't forget to turn the amp on. Let's see if it'll do the 800 watts or 906 that they say they got out of it certified. Oh man. Oh yeah, wow. All right, man, that was awesome. So that jumped right there at the end, but that was, uh, well over a thousand watts. We'll have to go back and look at the track. It was like ten a uh, thousand and twenty six or something like that. The voltage dropped to fourteen point five, so that was stronger voltage than what they said online. And one hundred and thirty eight amps of current. Wow, what a stout little amp. Let's um, let's reset these and see. We don't really pay attention to the voltage and the amperage on the dynamic runs anyway i should probably stop wasting my time with resetting those for the dynamic tests but here we go dynamically what's it gonna do they said 12 something wow Twelve twenty nine dynamically we had Good voltage. Uh, what did they say dynamic? 1226. Dang, that is so close. This is a stout little amp for an 800. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that 1200, if, if you wanted to be sure that you bought a pretty stout amp and could still run stock electrical for the most part, you might would rather go with the RP800 instead of the RP1200. Um, I don't know, but a lot of you could run a lot of stuff off of this. Two tens, two twelves um, would easily run off of this amp. So great numbers out of this thing. Let's hook it up to those two scar twelves, and we may take the back plate off of it after that. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, this is going to be the uh, subwoofer test. Um, if you look online, you will see that SCAR themselves recommend that RP-1200. In fact, they have like a package deal for the RP-1200 and the two 12-inch SCAR SDRs in the SCAR box. Really nice looking package too, by the way. And I've heard um, that those two 12s in the SCAR box in a Tahoe. And I'll just tell you, if you push them um, correctly, 
and that 1200 would be enough to do this too. I'm not sure about the eight, but um, that's enough to get uh, over a 140 in a uh, full size Tahoe. Um, I know that for a fact. I've, I've done that with my own, my own meter. Okay, um, let's see what this thing sounds like. The two SCAR 12s up there on the top, those are SDRs. It's not in the SCAR box though, but that is the same two subwoofers that they sell in the package. guys i'll tell you um that was the first time for me to try that the scar 800 on two sdr 12s does a really good job um i wouldn't hesitate to just go with the 800 on a couple of those 12s uh that 1200 sure would be real nice on there too but like i said earlier if you wanted to be extra sure that you wasn't um overdoing it on your factory electrical um you know, you might want to scale it back just a little bit and go with the 800. I'm telling you, you're still going to get loud um, with the 800. So I've enjoyed this amp a lot. I'll be honest with you. So I come out good on the SCAR used amplifier uh, directly from SCAR. Hopefully you will too if you ever try it. Uh, I can't remember what I had to pay with this for this with tax. Maybe it ended up being around 100 bucks. I'll probably put this thing on marketplace for 80 or 90 dollars and give somebody else a good deal and get most of my money back um that's what i usually end up doing with most of these amps but that's what it did dynamically check that out 1222 at 1 1.3 ohms on subwoofers so this little thing right here has got some uh got some power all right guys uh sit tight for just another minute or two Let's uh, unhook this thing and take the back plate off of it and look at those guts. All right, guys, here's your gut shot. So many of y'all like to see the gut shots. And you know what, to be honest, I don't blame you. I like seeing them sometimes myself. Um, it's just that some amps, when I'm trying to resell them as barely used, uh, I just, sometimes I don't wanna um, mess up that sticker or whatever. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but some of these amps, literally, I'll get in on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I'll do videos on it on a Saturday. And I'll put it for sale on Saturday on Marketplace. And I'll sell it either that day or the next day. And so, literally, the thing is just nearly brand new. But I'm always honest with everybody. I never tell anybody that it's brand new. Um, I select uh, used and like new on Marketplace. And then... uh you know, if they ask me why I'm selling it so quick or whatever, sometimes we get into discussions about my YouTube channel and sometimes we just don't. But um, but I'm always honest with everybody. But sometimes if I don't so show the gut shot, it may be related to that or a back plate that doesn't easily come off where you got to start taking off the ends and all that kind of stuff too. But anyhow, enough rambling. Here we go. Scar RP800. What are we looking at here? You guys that know a lot more about this, I will tell you this, these are some big fat capacitors. Um, man, what size are those things? I don't know, I know in the video, it probably don't do it justice. Maybe if I'm out like that, that kind of shows the representation there of how big those capacitors are. I like that red board. I don't see anything written on that board. Um, anyhow, for you guys that love to see this stuff, let's flip it around. 
Look at the other side there. Some of y'all may really know what you're looking at here more than me. What does that wire say on it there? Bowen, B-O-W-E-N. All right. Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you, I had a lot of fun messing with this amp today. Um, let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel. I will say this, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I've got cool stuff that comes out every week and I like to mix it up with the type of stuff that I'm doing. But uh, let me know, I love you guys' suggestions. There's been several amps that I ended up purchasing because somebody left a comment that said, hey, why don't you try this out? So please leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see coming up on the channel here pretty soon. All right, guys, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching.